Retropina simoni, or Australian smelt, a widespread species throughout the southeast of Australian continent, occurs in coastal drainages down the eastern seaboard from about the Fitzroy River in Queensland to the southeast corner of South Australia. Occurs extensively in tributaries in the southern part of the Murray Darling system, including the Darling downstream from Wilcannia, and a number of smaller disconnected river and creek systems in the northwestern part of New South Wales, extending into southwestern Queensland. Also found in Cooper's Creek system, which drains into Lake Eyre. Spawns in the springtime, when water temperatures have exceeded 15 degrees Celsius. The spherical, transparent eggs are adhesive and around 0.8 millimetres in diameter, expanding to around 1 millimetre when water hardens. The eggs are dimersal, sinking to the bottom where they stick to vegetation, bottom debris or the substrate. Females carry between 100 to 1,000 eggs. The eggs hatch in 9 to 10 days, at which time the larvae are around 4.5 to 5 millimetres in length. In the wild, it feeds on a wide variety of planktonic organisms, microcrustaceans and small aquatic insects. This underrated little native fish, once established in an aquarium, can be kept without much trouble and is an attractive, small schooling fish, females having a silvery glow and dominant males having a bright orange glow. Best when fed on live food such as tubifex worms and mosquito larvae, but can be trained to dried food. Not suitable for use in a community tank unless it's a good sized tank with other non-aggressive fish. It does best when kept in small groups in single species tanks. When handled, especially from the wild, it often suffers from high rates of stress-induced mortality, particularly if being netted. Also, the scales are very easily lost and this injury reportedly often results in death. Best handled when being transferred by using a plastic bag filled with water so that the fish are not directly handled at all. I've found it best to transport them at night in cooler weather. This species are reported to be frog friendly and is therefore a good choice for a pond, which also contains tadpoles. An excellent mosquito predator, probably somewhat vulnerable to predation by birds unless provided with suitable cover such as water lilies and other aquatic vegetation. Potamogeton crispus or curly leaf pondweed is a common aquatic plant in southeast Queensland, found in many waterways. I think this has probably been brought here by water birds as it's only clinging on in a few small patches along the Karma Edge and finding it hard to even establish in these spots in the upper reaches of the creek. In the lower reaches downstream, there are stances of aquatic clasping leaf pondweed, Potamogeton perfoliatus, another beautiful native that is common in this region. You can see the build-up of botanicals, mainly river she-oak, Cassiorinia cunninghamania, with a small amount of hoop pine, Arucaria cunninghami, and a few sprigs of prickly leafed paper bark. Melaleuca stifoloids, mixed in with other rainforest leaves from upstream. The small native shrimp seem to love this area, keeping safe from the fish with plenty of food on the bottom.
There are many more fish further downstream, but that will be another video. Just remember not to fish in national parks and reserves. It was a nice place just to snorkel and join these fish in their underwater world. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe to be notified of more of these videos.